Muzan Kibutsuji is the main antagonist in Demon Slayer. He is the oldest and most powerful demon who is the target of the Hashira. Muzan has many interesting facts, one of which is that Muzan is responsible for turning Nezuko into a demon. Here are some interesting facts about Muzan. Muzan Kibutsuji is first introduced in Chapter 11 of the manga and Episode 6 of the Demon Slayer anime as a male character who looks to be in his 20s. However, since he is a demon, that age is only his last age as a human. As a demon, Muzan's age is estimated to be over 1,000 years old. Muzan has a very cruel and inhumane nature. To him, the existence of humans has no value whatsoever and is even considered incompatible with him being an immortal being. Muzan's cold and cruel attitude is not only shown to humans, but also to the fellow demons he created. He sees demons as mere subordinates or tools. He is obsessive about being the perfect being and feels his life is the most powerful. He will do anything to achieve his goal. In addition, Muzan is also very sensitive and easily angered. He does not hesitate to kill people who insult him or speak ill of him, even if it is not true. Muzan Kibutsuji was born to a noble family in the Heian period around the year 900. His body was weak even in the womb, and he was even declared dead at birth because he showed no signs of life. However, he managed to survive into adulthood despite his weak body and the constant threat of death. He suffered from a rare disease that made him predicted to live no longer than 20 years. Once upon a time, a myth emerged about the blue spider lily plant that was said to cure Muzan's illness. So he messenger traveled all over Japan in search of the rare plant. After finding the blue spider lily, Muzan's health condition improved, but now he became weak to sunlight. From then on, he ceased to be human, but became the first demon ever born in history. Not only was Muzan weak to sunlight and unable to go out during the day, but he also began to develop a strange appetite. Now his appetite was far greater than that of a normal human. Even scarier, Muzan was only interested in human flesh. When he could no longer restrain his thirst for blood, the families around him became targets of Muzan's hunger. Recently, it was revealed that Muzan Kibutsuji is actually related to the Ubuyashiki clan, the family that has led the Hashira Corps for generations. The Ubuyashiki clan are descendants of Muzan's original blood relatives. After Muzan turned into a demon, the Ubuyashiki family received a deadly genetic curse. This curse caused the death of every family member before the age of 30. After Muzan was defeated, the curse disappeared. This was proven when Kagaya Ubuyashiki's successor, Kiria, lived to a very old age. In the epilogue of the story, Kiria even becomes the oldest person in Japan. In the Demon Slayer series, Muzan is not the only demon in existence. He formed his own demon kingdom to help him achieve his goal of gaining immunity to sunlight. With his blood, Muzan is able to turn a person into a demon. Usually, he will take advantage of the dark side or weaknesses of humans that can be manipulated to make them his subordinates in exchange for power. Muzan is a demon king with immense power. He not only creates demons, but can also monitor them all with his ability to read their minds and take over their bodies. However, these abilities cannot apply to Nezuko, to Mayo, Yushiro, and a cat named Chachamaru. Muzan created an organization among his demons where he combined the strongest demons into it known as the 12 Kizuki. This organization is divided into two groups, the Upper Moon Demons and the Lower Moon Demons. The 12 Kizuki is an organization directly under Muzan's command. Their task is to destroy the Ubu Yashiki clan in the Hashira core and find the blue spider lily, which is the key to Muzan's immortality. Following Muzan as his subordinate was certainly a very wrong decision. The demons will be bound by a contract that obliges them to serve the demon king with their lives at stake. In addition, the demons should not carelessly mention Muzan's surname, Kibutsuji. This is related to the Kibutsuji curse that is embedded along with Muzan's blood when he turns someone into a demon. The curse prevents demons from saying the name Kibutsuji out loud. If violated, the curse will activate and destroy the demon's body in a very terrible way. However, this curse can also be activated by Muzan according to his will, as happened when Muzan killed all the remaining lower moon demons. 
In the Demon Slayer series, Muzan has used several human forms to disguise himself. In the beginning, he presents himself as a grown man with a wife and children. In another story, Muzan appears as a woman when he meets the Lower Moon Demon. In addition, he also disguised himself as a boy from a prominent family. However, at the end of the battle, Muzan finally showed her terrifying demonic form. It has seven hearts and five brains, making it even harder to kill. In the same arc, when Muzan is in distress, he transforms into a giant baby. In the Sengoku period, Muzan was almost defeated by Yorichi Tsujikuni, the strongest Hashira, who used the sun breathing technique. Since then, Muzan has become very afraid of the technique. In the Demon Slayer series, Hanafu earrings are used as a marker of the inheritor and user of the sun breathing technique. Tanjiro Kamado also wears the earrings. The Hanafuda earrings are an inheritance from Yorichi given to Sumiyoshi his friend and Tanjiro's ancestor. Sumiyoshi passed on the sun breathing technique to his descendants and the technique became known as Hinakami Kagura in the Kamado family. Although many users of the sun breathing technique were wiped out by Muzan and Kakashibo, Tanjiro Kamado is still alive and using the technique as the story progresses. Muzan Kibutsuji is the first demon who became the ancestor of all demons that have ever existed. As a demon, Muzan is almost perfect except for one weakness, which is sunlight. To eliminate this weakness, Muzan sent his subordinates to find a medicine that turned him into a demon, the blue spider lily. However, later on, Muzan targeted Nezuko Kamado as an antidote to his weakness. This is because of Nezuko's perfection as a demon, besides being able to withstand her bloodlust, Nezuko is also immune to sunlight. At the end of the story, there was a fierce battle between the Hashira Corps with the 12 Kizuki and the Demon King Muzan. However, to defeat the all-powerful Muzan, many sacrifices were required, including from Oakada-sama and Tamayo, a doctor who was also a demon and cooperated with the Hashira Corps. A number of Hashira Corps pillars also died in the battle. However, Thanks to the sacrifices of many, Muzan's body finally reached its weakest point. When the sun began to rise, Muzan's body burned and disappeared. Before his death, Muzan tried to achieve his ambition by giving his demon blood to Tanjiro. Although Tanjiro's body responded to the blood, he eventually turned against his influence. What's more, Tanjiro's demonic power was much greater than Muzan's, especially since Tanjiro was also immune to sunlight. However, Tanjiro was lucky as he got help from his friends and was able to retain his consciousness. Eventually, he managed to return to being human and continued his life with his family. 